my name is Abhishek and welcome back to MBBS Treasure Channel. Today we are going to read the second part of Accident Based Balance in which I am going to say you about the physiological buffer. Okay, in my previous video I have already explained that what is the chemical buffer, what is bicarbonate buffer, what is hemoglobin protein buffer and the phosphate buffer. But in this video we are going to talk about the physiological buffer that comes under the normal acid base balance, how our body physiologically or normally uh, able to maintain the acid and basic content inside the body. Okay, that we are going to read in this video. Let's start our today's topic. So first of all, the violation of acid base acid base balance as I have already said when there will be uh, normal conditions it means when our body organs will be functioning normally then the acid base balance are also maintained normally but when there will be condition arising like when there will be violation or disturbance or any kind of disorder in the mechanism of regulations of this acid and base balance then we are going to get certain two kinds of pathology what is that that is acidosis and alkalosis okay we are going to talk about those acidosis and alkalosis after some videos because now we are going to focus on normal functioning process of our body how normally physiologically our body able to maintain the acid base balance and from that we have already completed the chemical buffer system now we are going to talk about this physiological buffer system so uh, from this word physiology it means that it is a normal function and on this physiological buffer system our body contains certain organs like the lungs kidneys liver and skin this is the important excretory systems uh, that are present in our body that helps to maintain the homeostasis of acid and base Okay, the acidic content, how much the uh, body should require the acidic content and basic content, these are properly uh, regulated by these organs and they, and they have the normal function, that is physiological function. So, through the normal physiological function, we are going to see the acid and base balance. According to the physiological buffer, we have four organs that is lungs, kidneys, livers and skin. Now the physiological buffer, uh, it means the buffer system will be acting to resist the, any kind of change if there will be increasing in the acidic condition, it means acidemia or acidosis. Then what will happen? It means that the carbon dioxide content in the, the body will increase. So the acidemia or acidosis means there will be increasing in the concentration of the carbon dioxide in the body and when there will be alkalosis conditions it means there will be increasing in the bicarbonate con conditions or concentration in our body. So this physiological buffer able to maintain these two component the acidic and basic component in our body by their normal functioning process. So first of all let's now talk about this organs. First organ that comes in our mind that is lungs because it is the fastest way of maintaining the respiratory acidosis or respiratory alkalosis. Why? Because as we know we are normally able to, uh, we are normally always in a condition of respiration. It means that we require all the time inspiration and expiration and suddenly if there will be any kind of change in our body it means acidemia condition when there will be increasing in the carbon dioxide. So what's our body takes? Our body will be stimulated in expiring those excess amount of carbon dioxide that will be deposited in condition of acidosis. Okay, so it's the fastest way of expiration or fastest way of maintaining the homeostasis by this organ. Okay, lungs. You just have to remember certain uh, reactions in this video that will help you to uh, completely understand the acid and base balance when there will be condition arising of the violation or disorder. Okay, you just have to remember these equations, natural equations. So, what is the function of normal lungs? Lungs helps to inspire 
and expire inspirations of the oxygen and expirations of the carbon dioxide and through those mechanisms it helps to maintain certain reactions and this reaction is going to help you in maintaining or balancing the acid and base component in our body so what is that reaction it helps to maintain the ph by secretion of the volatile carbonic acid as we know this carbonic acid is already volatile in nature volatile means it is unstable it quickly dissociates to give carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide plus water so what happens when there will be increasing in the amount of carbon dioxide inside our body then normally physiological property of the, our body is to expire excess amount of carbon dioxide from our body through that what happens when there will be increasing in the carbon dioxide it means condition of acidosis and expiration means getting a uh, relief of extra amount of carbon dioxide and maintaining the ph it means the ph will now increase acidic condition ph means it will decrease below it means around 4 to 5 means neutral ph is 7 and below it are the acidic conditions and above 7 ph means alkalosis condition so in those conditions our lungs helps to maintain by exp uh, by regulating the amount of expiration of the carbon dioxide whether it is required to hyperventilate or hypoventilate okay so according to that lungs helps in the process of acid and base balance now next comes to liver okay as we know that liver is a very important organ for the metabolic process it helps in digestion it helps in detoxification but it also has certain effects or uh, it also has certain importance in the acid base balance what's that it is the hepatic ureogenesis you may have heard that ever that urea are generated from this liver and that process of generations or the production of urea is known as hepatic ureogenesis through this process hepatic ureogenesis the liver helps to maintain the acid base balance how the production of hepatic urea is a major pathway it's a major pathway for the removal of metabolically generated bicarbonate because through this process only through this urea generation process only the body has to uh, the body get the benefit of removing the extra amount of generated bicarbonate through the metabolic pathway if there will be extra amount of a uh, bicarbonate uh, is getting accumulated inside our body due to the metabolic metabolic processes then the urea genesis will occur it means there will be production of urea and when the urea will be produced it will be produced inside the liver acinous cells so this liver acinous cells performs the urea cycle to maintain the ammonium homeostasis okay so now we are going to get two terms here now we get two terms one is ammonium and here is bicarbonate so with this two components or with this two ions we are going to see the homeostasis of acid and base let's see how and it liver also checks the extra cellular acid base balance status and rate of bicarbonate elimination let's see how this is the important reaction that you should remember for the hepatic ureogenesis or liver function what is this this is the structure of urea okay it it contains the two ammonium ions and one ketonic carbon when the urea get hydrolyzed in presence of enzyme known as urease enzyme also aqueous medium when there will be a condition of urease and aqueous medium will be dissociating or will be hydrolyzed in this urea then we are going to get two ammonium and one carbonic acid this ammonium is a weak base and this carbonic acid is a weak acid what do you mean by weak acid that uh, that is completely volatile or unstable and it quickly dissociates to give carbon dioxide and water so the weak acid is unstable so it will proceed for forward reactions to giving the carbon dioxide and water but what is ammonia going here ammonia is also a weak base and weak base means it is producing base and acid from this urea so it helps in easy pro protonation this ammonia is a weak base weak base means it uh, it is also unstable and it has higher uh, affinity towards 
protonation it means it has higher affinity to accept one proton so it gets easily protonated when it comes in contact with water so ammonium when it comes in contact with water it gets the h plus ion from the water so it becomes the ammonium aqueous solution and it generates hydroxyl ion so here you can see that when the body will require it means when the body will be striving in the acidic condition then this urea genesis process will take place and as we know this uh, weak base will be formed weak acid will be formed according to this reactions or changing environment in our body we are going to see certain reactions okay so through this reactions only we can say that liver also helps in maintaining the acid and base next comes the skin what is the function of skin normally it helps in the process of excretion and through which it helps in process of excretion by producing sweat from the sweat glands okay so the sweat glands in the skin helps to maintain the acid base balance by excreting this ions like hydrogen ions bicarbonate ions sodium potassium chloride ions but it helps in small amount of regulations of this acid and base balance okay but uh, if we are going to see that which organs are primarily responsible for acid and base balance then first from the very beginning you should remember there are two important organs first one is the lungs and the next that we are going to discuss is kidney okay 